Uh, we are talking about the business which has recently started doing the medical practice uh, in the uh, health industry. And we are also looking at uh, the client who has recently bought a car. Um, there is a mix supplies there um, in the small medical uh, practice. So I will look into that as well. And this is the worksheet that will be available to you if you want to use that as a um, guide to prepare the best. Um, what I prepared is activity statement that and that's what it is, give or take $1. The other thing, other reason why I need a three ledger is because when I prepare and finalize the best, I'm going to clear this ledger and transfer it into the HEO liabilities, which is going to give me Twelve, fourteen, um, one thousand two hundred and fourteen dollars as a balance, and GST would be nil. PYG withholding would be nil. Um, the other issue that this structure, uh, by doing this structure, the other issue that it solves is you don't really need to do a lot of digging when people have signing, and on that back. basically shows a little bit of extra love to the client, and if you want to send the best separately from your different practice. So I, I use zero practice manager. That makes it pretty simple to send it for signing. But if you are using a different system, you can always stick to that system and send this report along with your best. So and that now, would you mind just bringing back up the checklist so that everyone can yep. just be reminded of it? Sure. Um, so yeah, I think the checklist is, you know, not just getting the GST right, but also reminding you to have a look at the other areas of the business as well. 